of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. All praises belong to Allah, the Lord of the universe. May the peace and the blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad and members of his household and his companions and all those who believe in him and follow his path until the day of judgment. Viewers, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Aminu Ali Gusaw, Mojibon Gusaw. Uh, it's good to be with you again to this edition of the program. Islam is a way of life. Coming to you from Dan Kulum Television. Alhamdulillah. We were discussing about the basis of knowledge. Or to say the basic need for knowledge in respect of humankind. We were saying that man is in need of answers to some fundamental questions in his life. And that is to say man always asks himself who am I? From where do I come? What is the purpose of my life on this world? And what is beyond death? What, what, after a person dies, what comes next? These are fundamental questions that man has always tried to seek answers to. Now, in the course of Answering these questions, man approaches this problem from different points of view. According to historians, that is to say, uh, historians that don't apply religion to what they do. That is to say, secular historians, according to them, the first attempt of man to answer these fundamental questions of life is through polytheism. That is to say, through religion. But that religion is based on polytheism. That is, in the multiplicity of the supernatural. That is to say, man, by recognizing his weakness and by recognizing his dependence on uh, others' powers that are beyond his understanding, now applies or attaches these powers, these supernatural powers, to other creations that coexist with him. For instance, some people will believe that it is the sun that is uh, the cause of their coming to this world. And so they seek help from the sun. They seek uh, for the success of their endeavors in this world from the sun. Some will say it is the moon. Some will say it is the oceans or the rivers, some will say it is the mountains, that have powers, supernatural powers, uh, to enable them, to help them become successful in this world, achieve their desires, their goals, and their objectives. So they worship these objects, they attach supernatural powers to them, and they seek the achievement of their goals from these objects. But these objects are the same, of the same category as man. They were all here coexisting together in this world. But because man recognizes his weakness and he understands that his life is dependent on unforeseen circumstances, 
he now attaches supernatural powers to these uh, objects without regard to the fact that these objects are lifeless. That is to say, they are non living. And man is a living thing. But all the same, man accepts that these objects possess supernatural powers. So man starts to worship these objects. Now, you, will, you can find in a society that multiple objects are being worshipped at the same time. And uh, in some societies, this type of worship is organized in such a way that one of these objects is accepted as the bigger superpower. And all the others are accepted as uh, lesser than that main object in the acquisition of supernatural powers. So, in one way or another, this results in what is called polytheism. We call it in Islam shirk. That is to say, worshipping more than one object of worship at the same time. Recognizing more than one object as possessing the supernatural powers to enable man achieve his goals in this world. This is polytheism. And this is the first according to secular historians, not according to Islam. This is the first effort of man to address the questions of metaphysics. That is the question of where we come from, what is the goal of our life in this world, and where do we go from here after death? So now, uh, from this polytheist basis, uh, offshoots are created. That is to say, uh, from worshipping real objects, some people graduated to worshipping unforeseen, uh, that, um, unseen. Worshipping unseen objects and spirits. For instance, some will now say that there are angels and they will worship them. Some will say there are jinns and demons, they worship them. Some will say that the, the object of worship should be the spirit of their dead ancestors. So, it is these dead ancestors now that become spirit and they become the guardians of the community. They look over the community from where they are. And uh, it is them that protect the community, that fulfills the wishes of the community. And when they become angry, the wrath, the, 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 the wrath, the wrath of their anger now is, uh, it comes down to that community. So this uh, now, uh, from worshipping real existing objects, polytheism now graduates to the worship of spirits. Now, some people also combine the worship of spirits with the worship of idols. Idols are images that people make of some uh, imaginary spirits which they believe have supernatural powers over them. So if they say this, uh, we worship the sun, for instance, they will make a symbol representing the sun, and that is an idol. So they worship the sun through the symbol. They now come to the idol and uh, speak to it as if they are speaking to uh, their object of worship. Now, whether an object of worship is a, a real object, like this one, or a spirit, people still create images of these uh, objects of worship, and they, they are known as idols. So idol worship now came to be very popular in all of the world as one of the ways of worshipping supernatural powers. Now, from this again, uh, there is another form of uh, 
so to see polytheism uh, that men came to accept that is uh, uh, okay uh, I was talking about the worship of uh, idols in place of images so I was saying there is another form of polytheism that came to be accepted in the world and that is magic so now people started practicing magic and uh, magic is a, a process whereby a human being claims to have communication with a spirit and through that spirit the human being now acquires supernatural skills and supernatural powers which he can display by uh, for, for instance uh, by changing natural objects into uh, some uh, into some other things or by acting in a supernatural way that is acting unnaturally so but through magic a human being now possesses the powers to act unnaturally, to do things that are not natural, either to do things to himself or to other things, or to other objects, or to other human beings. This is magic. And uh, most magicians claim to have communication with one sin spirits. It is these spirits now that give them the power to do the magic which they are doing. But it is all part of polytheism. It is all part of worshipping uh, so, many, so many multiple supernatural objects at the same time. So uh, from this process and the procedure of polytheism, which is shirk, and which, as I said, according to historians that don't take account of religion, they say this is the beginning of civilization. They say polytheism is the beginning of civilization. They say religion started with polytheism. This is not in accordance with Islam. When we come later to discuss about the origin of religion in Islam, we will see the difference between this point of view and the point of view expressed by Islam. But for now, I, I want to take us through these processes as you will find them in history textbooks that are written by people who don't take into account the opinion of Islam on these matters. So, uh, philosophy came as a result of uh, the by reaction to idolatry, that is reaction to uh, polytheism. Uh, philosophers reject the idea of religion totally. According to philosophers, the basis of knowledge is not the identification of supernatural objects or supernatural powers. They reject supernatural powers. And therefore, they reject worship of idols and uh, all other objects of worship. Now, philosophers say we must depend for our knowledge on rational thinking. Rational thinking means the ability to use your brain to think, to ask questions, ask yourself questions. Ponder over these questions. Think very hard in a logical way and a method so as to come out with an answer as, uh, as to your question. That, that is rational thinking. That is cognitive method of uh, solving a problem. That is the philosophical method. So, you doubt the answers that are existing now. 
you challenge them, you continue to think or until you get to a position where you are satisfied. So philosophy rejects the idea of religion in its polytheistic form because when philosophers appeared on this world, uh, they were only, uh, religion was only composed of polytheists and that is according to secular history. As I said, this is not in accordance with the history of, re of, of, uh, of religions according to Islam. So, but philosophers appeared uh, uh, as far as uh, yeah, history is concerned in Europe, in uh, Greece, in Rome. Of course, there had been philosophers in every part of the world, but there was no written history. So, Philosophers of other parts of the world were not recorded. Uh, even in Egypt, where, where uh, polytheism and uh, magic had been the order of the day, there were philosophers who reject these ideas, but they, they reject the idea of religion in totality and uh, uh, depend on rational thinking as a way of solving the problems of man and as answering the fundamental questions of life. But they were not recorded as such. So the philosophers that were recorded in history came from Greece and Europe, uh, that is Rome. And uh, according to these philosophers now, uh, you use your brain, your thinking, in order to answer the fundamental questions of life and solve your problems. So there are, there are many schools of philosophy. For instance, the philosophers reject the idea of predestination. Uh, the polytheists believe in predestination. According to polytheism, in Greece and in Rome, uh, people's life is totally dependent on the wishes of the gods, of the supernatural powers. It is the supernatural powers that uh, regulate and control all of life. So a human being is only a, a, a tool in the hands of these gods and they do what they like with, with him. So that is totally predestination and uh, the philosophers reject this. So, uh, inshallah, here we come to the end of this edition and uh, next week, inshallah, we will take up from here and continue with our explanation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.